You guys should see how my camera, like how my lighting is. You should just see how it is. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> That's my phone. I have this um tripod thingy. You put it like above your head so you don't have to hold your phone while you're sleeping or something. But I'm using this in a totally productive way for face cam. Like, isn't it pretty? Look at my keyboard. It's so beautiful. I know. Oh, amazing. Why am I on this plot? I don't know either. God, why did I move my camera? That was the worst idea of my life. Hi guys, hi, it's me. That's me. Got a big ad on my back. The day is great. I think it's super glued to my back. I think it is. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here in a block work. And for today's episode, I thought I would, uh talk about some things that uh, Blockberg would need. I've been feeling a certain way about Blockberg lately, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't say I'm like running out of things to do because like the things you can do in this game are like kind of basically endless. I'm in that part where I do need like another <laughs> good break from building because I kind of just do it every day. You know, I do it about it. I build on a daily and sometimes I do it at the worst times because I'll be thinking about what video idea I should do for that day and then start building at like 7 p.m., 8 p.m., even. Sometimes 9. Like right now I'm recording this video at 9. Honestly, when I finish the houses in like a hurry, they're not the best. So if you're noticing like some houses that don't look the greatest, it's because I did it late and I just like rushing just to get a video up or something. Like I said, there's, I think there's a lot to do in building in Blockberg, but I'm just not at that point. I'm just at that point where I'm sick of building. I get this, I get this quite often where I get sick of building. And so I need to do something else, but what else is there to do? So I'm feeling like I should make a video about where, what Blockberg kind of needs and for it to survive a bit. Like I'm really grateful for the updates we get. I'm grateful that we get updates at all. They're free. Um, and I know that it's just like Coeptus and Froggy Hops working together. I think it's just a two person team mostly. Just as a heads up, if you guys didn't know, this game is made by two people, which is Coeptus and Froggy Hops, I believe. And then they would have maybe some testers, maybe one tester or two or something. But even then it's like two person team mostly. I can already imagine how difficult it is already just to develop a game, code everything, gotta make sure everything doesn't crash and stuff. I don't know, I just feel at that point like I don't know what else to do other than build because that's one of the main attractions of this game is building, build whatever you want, live out your life. As you guys know there's a lack, there's a lack in the city, the middle part right there and then we have the two neighborhoods and I think it's been like this for quite a while now. There's really nothing much to do other than build and just just do it yourself, you know? It's kind of like, hey, we don't have it, so you just kind of have to do it yourself. But yes, I love Blockberg. Blockberg is great. I think it's gotten to the point as well where, like, even the builders themselves, who thinks that even Blockberg should have, like, a little bit of a break from building updates, maybe they should just focus more on the roleplay elements, the town stuff, just more, like, gameplay gameplay. Some of you probably like, but PETA building is gameplay. Build mode. Like, I really love what they're doing now in build mode. I love all the little, like, shapes and all of that, and I'm sure a lot of the builders really love it really appreciate it but i think um we should take like an update break like an update break where they could focus more on roleplay elements rp i think there should just be an rp strict update like even if it's food that'd be nice like a food update who knows maybe they could be working on this a town update right now or when will they ever do a school who knows i do have another build project in mind just because we hit 1 million recently and I do want to do like a million dollar mansion for a million subscribers as corny as it sounds. So I want to I want to do that. I don't know. I just feel like right now Blockberg is at its point where there's a certain set of things you have to do. So the, the most popular job I think would be delivery person. Most people would say because it makes you the most money it does. I don't know too much about how the jobs work. I'm sure they all pay you like an equal amount in a way. That's what Froggy says. We all know a delivery person is probably by far the most popular job. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are maxed out in other jobs. They're probably like, hey, that's not that's not totally correct. But by most things, a uh, delivery person is the go to job. I don't really when I'm in public service, I don't really see any other people working the other jobs. Maybe I'm just unlucky. I don't know. I just feel like maybe they could. I don't know. I think it is. It should be equal. Well, it just seems slower in a way in other jobs. Like when I work pizza baker, I just feel slow and it's just a lot of work when it's like a low pay. That's why when I go delivery person, I just drive and deliver pizzas and i make like 2000 3000 per delivery um skills wise some of these skills don't really impact the gameplay at all writing skill doesn't really do anything i don't believe intelligence also doesn't really do anything cooking i know cooking does something gaming doesn't do anything athletic i don't think athletic skill 
don't gives you any like actual benefits gardening you unlock more plants and trees and all of that painting doesn't do anything and we also have the of course long awaited crafting and programming they're not in the game i do believe we do need like a building break like a building update break that just focus the next update on everything else gameplay things instead of just building which i know building is a big thing and i love it too i love it i love building things but i'm at that point where i'm just building too much where i'm just getting sick of it and <sighs> I need, I need a break but i'm building a mansion one day so i'm just i'm preparing myself for that but that's just my take on what the current things are like right now there's just really not a whole lot to do in the moment uh, besides just working and building things i just feel like we need a whole on rp update or just a town update i think that the city has the town has been the same ever since like i started uh <laughs> for the most part i mean we did get an expansion but look at this we have trees you know we just have trees but anyway, I do, I do appreciate Froggies and Quepta's work. They are amazing developers. And I, we all just want the best for this game. Like, we love Blockbird. We want the best for it. We do need, like, that update. Keep us going, I guess. But that's basically, yeah, that's just, like, my two cents on anything. Um, if they were to do another build mode update, one of the things I would like to see is, like, a spray tool. Because in The Sims 4, they have, like, a terrain spray tool where you could, like, spray, like, patches of dirt, um, maybe even concrete, stone, or anything like that. And, of course, we would love to, like, have that feature where we could uh, rotate our builds and stuff, our entire builds. I know how hard that could be, though, when you're, like, developing in, in Roblox. But maybe it, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I definitely would love to f a feature where you could like drag multiple objects together if it wasn't on a table to be able to like move entire buildings that would be great i would love that even a new job could be great because it could add something to the town it could give you something to do like a new thing to do i'm surprised there's still no like taxi job because you can have you can deliver pieces to people why not have like a taxi job where you could find people on the road and take them to like pizza planet take them to the campsite take them to a certain spot in the map because i mean the pizza deliveries already don't make sense like when you deliver pizzas to people you'll usually find them on the bridge or something like they're ordering pizzas on the bridge they're ordering pizzas like at the end of this street that'd be cool if they did make like a, a taxi job where you would just go find people it would give you an arrow to pick up people and then take them to a certain place in the map and just even have like a building where taxis are um like an uber service there's a lot of things that could help make blockberg great that's just my two cents on how i feel about blockberg right now and i'm getting sick of building i'm getting sick of building i need to like take a building break because i'm about to start a mansion i'm about to start a million dollar mansion so if i don't build for a few videos i need a break to do that but let me know what i should do for video ideas because uh, most of my video ideas are me building something anyway i don't know what to do right now and let me know what you guys would like to see get added uh in the comments because i love reading that and maybe maybe your suggestions will be a lot more better than mine i don't feel like i've really suggested much but i'm just telling you where i am right now that's just what i want to talk about and be honest about but anyway if you guys did enjoy this episode you definitely feel the same way that i do or i mean i mean you could be having a great time of your life right now which is awesome i'm glad you're having a great time but i don't feel it right now <laughs> i don't feel it right now make sure to leave it a big old thumbs up and to make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it is completely free and i will talk to you in the next video stay great stay healthy have a wonderful day peanut bread signing out goodbye everybody